Welcome to the video and another edition of Vegan Bro Meals. Today we're going to be making thick three bean chili. And when I mean thick, I'm talking thick. And it's going to be extra, extra anabolic. This recipe is so anabolic that if Greg Doucette incorporated this into his meal plan, his balls would start to regenerate testosterone again magically. Nonetheless, let's check out these anabolic ingredients for this anabolic three bean epic thick chili. One large sweet potato, two cans of kidney beans, two cans of black beans, two cans of pinto beans, seasonings to include chili powder, cumin, smoked paprika, salt, black pepper, and turmeric, taco sauce, 10 ounces of water, bell pepper, and onion. The first thing you wanna do is get your sweet potato, cut it in half, and then wrap it in aluminum foil and stick it in the oven. You'll know your sweet potato is done when it feels softer than a pitch from Kino Body or Greg O'Gallagher trying to sell you a Hollywood Physique Expert Workout Program and when the inside of the sweet potato isn't as orange as Donald Trump's skin color. Or in other words, if you set your oven to about 435 to 450 degrees and leave it in there for about 45 to an hour, It'll give you about those results. The next thing that you want to do is chop up your onion and your bell pepper. Now you can use any type of bell pepper you want or any type of onion you want. I have a red onion and a green bell pepper, but you don't have to use that. Now the normal amounts that I would put into this is about half of a red onion and half of a bell pepper, typically a green bell pepper. But I don't have that in my house right now, so we're just gonna wing it. I've done this recipe a bunch of times and I've used different amounts of bell peppers and onions and it really doesn't make a difference so much in regards to the taste. Maybe a slight little difference, but it's all good. So in this case, all I'm gonna do is put, I'm gonna put the whole green pepper in there and I'm gonna put the whole onion, but you can do it however you want which is exactly what my ex-wife told me and I was just like, really? But then she went off and started singing about being a single lady and I should have put a ring on it even though I did put a ring on it and I don't I mean I don't know what's wrong with her I mean I don't ain't nobody got time for that I use a food processor to do the fine chopping of my bell pepper and onion because yes so the next thing you want to do is grab all your beans and in this case it's quite a bit of beans six cans worth of beans and you want to drain your beans. Now you can use dried beans. The reason why I'm using canned beans is for two reasons. One, for the sake of simplicity and two, I've had these dried beans there for like, I don't know, almost like five months now and I'm, I, don't, I don't want them there anymore. Uh, so I'm just gonna use them now as I don't think the world's gonna come to an end anytime soon. Now, a side note, if you are gonna use dried beans, I don't know the actual measurements for the dry beans. You would just have to get the same exact amount that's in a can of beans and just use that same amount with your dry beans, cook them all together, and then you'll have your beans ready. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is get all your seasonings or the measurements for all your seasonings and keep it separate so that you can dump it all into the pot once it's all ready to start cooking. All the measurements for the seasonings are gonna be down in the description box down below. So check that out if you're gonna do this super extra hyper anabolic recipe. You ain't doing it, you ain't, you ain't living that anabolic lifestyle and you're clearly deficient. You're, you're clearly deficient in muscle. Fucking anabolic, son. Once you have your beans all drained and rinsed, you've got your seasonings and spices all measured out and you've got your bell pepper and onion all chopped up and you have your sweet potato baking inside the oven, you're ready to start cooking. You're gonna start with the green bell pepper and the onion. You're just gonna put it in the pot and cook it for a few minutes till it starts to steam up a little bit. Once it starts cooking for about like two or three minutes or so, maybe give it five minutes at most. You know, once it's cooked a bit, then what you're gonna do is add your beans, add the water, add the spices and seasonings, and add the taco sauce on top of that as well too. Mix it all up or stir it as you go along, as you go mixing everything in there, cover it and let it cook on low heat for about 30 minutes or so. Once your three bean chili has been done cooking for about 30 minutes, 
Now you're good to take out the sweet potato from the oven. If it's done, take the sweet potato out. Make sure to take off the peel, eat it, give it to your dog, give it to whoever, whatever. Mash up the sweet potato and then throw it into the three bean chili and mix it in together to make this chili thick the way we like it. And when I mean thick, I'm not talking about come home to wifey type of thick. I'm talking that like side piece thick, like that type of thick that's gonna like ruin the next five years of my life type of thick, potentially. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. Made a little side of broccoli, by the way, because you gotta get your micros in, sure. Not that this stuff doesn't have some micros as well too, but you know, broccoli is health, science. And this bowl right here, this little bowl, uh, how much calories is in it? I am not sure exactly, but it's not that much. This is actually pretty calorie dilute. It's very protein rich and it's very extremely satiating. Zero saturated fat, zero cholesterol, all kinds of iron, all kinds of fiber, all kinds of fucking protein, all kinds of anabolic. The only thing left to do is to taste it. Or, well, eat it. Yes, I feel the anabolic gains going straight into my fucking biceps. Fuck yeah, bro. Fuck yeah. I swear my balls just grew half an inch in girth. It really is freaking incredible. You can have this dish with uh, a side of crackers or some chips or some shit, but then again, you know, that's not the healthiest thing. So, but I'm just giving you a heads up. A lot of people do actually do that. And you know, you can use it as a dip as well too. Like you dip the chili and eat it, but it's super healthy just like this. So that's it guys. That's the whole recipe right there. Which by the way, I created enough three bean chili here to last me for three or four days or so. You don't have to make this much. You can cut this recipe in half, but why would you do that? Because now you would have enough for your side piece to come in, you know, have her, invite her over and make sure she tries your high protein concocted recipe, which originated from you. Just make sure she swallows it. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I strongly recommend you try this recipe as it's delicious, super healthy, as I said before, super anabolic. Uh. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below. As you know, I love to engage with all of you. Please know that I appreciate every single one of you. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and ding dong button if you haven't already. You guys know who I am. I'm the Natural Hoaxer. I wanna thank you all for watching, and please stay tuned for the next one.